In 2017, the sales of celebrated author George Orwell's books Animal Farm and 1984 shot up after the whistleblower Edward Snowden leaked confidential information from the National Security Agency. In fact, 1984 became Amazon's bestseller after former US President Donald Trump's presidential inauguration in 2017. As we mark his death anniversary on January 21st, we take a look at his India connection. Did you know Orwell was born in Motihari in Bihar? He spent less than a year in the country before his family returned to England for good. Though his father continued to serve in India until 1912, after which he too retired and went home. Written over 75 years ago, George Orwell's books are relevant even today. The author who was born on October 25th in 1903 is known for his many masterpieces but two books that stand out in today's time are 1984 and Animal Farm Published for the first time in August 1945 in England Animal Farm tells the story of animals on a barn who rebel against their human farmer in a hope of living in a free and equal society The book was first rejected by several publishers including T.S. Eliot who at that point worked as the director of Faber and Faber. Eliot rejected the book for its criticism of Stalin who was Britain's wartime ally. He was among those who thought the work was very controversial to be published at a time when the Soviet Union was a powerful ally of Britain against Germany. Though often referred to as a children's book, Animal Farm is a satirical take on human nature and social systems. Orwell himself once noted that events in the book led up to the Russian Revolution of 1917. In one of his essays, he says he wrote Animal Farm to fuse political and artistic purpose into one whole. Today, we live in similar times and the book reminds us that those in power often take advantage of human desires for a better world for their own selfish needs. The book, which is among significant socio-political works of all time, is a reflection of political systems across the world. It is an eye-opener for the masses not to be brainwashed by the ruling class or fall for false propaganda. Another interesting fact is that this book was also made into a video game. Coming to 1984, a classic which was published in 1949. He brings about the idea of totalitarianism in his book. For Orwell, totalitarianism was a political order focused on power and control. In his book, antagonist O'Brien is a powerful government official who uses torture to gain power. He represents power for power's sake. His predictions are frighteningly accurate today. The book talks about how dystopian surveillance system monitors everything one speaks, how unacceptable speeches are never heard, and how history can be rewritten to show people in power in good books. Just like television screens monitor the characters in the book, in today's world there is a constant surveillance in the form of social media. From where we are to what we like and talk about everything is monitored 24/7 with big tech taking over every aspect of our lives it is not difficult for those in power to erase politically incorrect statements made by a person this resembles that orwell wrote in his book about how governments delete history that becomes inconvenient